Welcome back guys to Kino I Castle with Mark and Mark here, your host for tonight. All about the Raptors. Let's talk about that game that just happened right now. Some of us are heartbroken, some of us are happy. So good. let's lay out all the emotion that happened in that game six right now for the Raptors just and the Sixers. Look, look Who wants to start? Who wants yeah, to start? I mean, it's tough, tough yeah. loss for yeah. sure. Um, Raps have always been known to be bounce back teams, you know what I mean? We get in these situations and we get over it. Uh, we have home court, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's 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 tough. It's a tough one. We didn't want to go to seven, but we're here and 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 we just gotta win. We just gotta win, right? We're so. still in favor, even if we do go to game seven. So I feel like we will win this. Mm -hmm. James, <laughs> <laughs> tell us all the emotion and feeling that you think about that game six, because I think you can't say that on game seven. <laughs> it's gonna be totally different back uh, in the court. So. I feel so good. <laughs> but game five, what was it? It was different because. Um, yeah. You guys need to get Ibaka involved. Yeah. It, every time you guys win, yeah. Ibaka had like 10 points or more. Or there's one game he had seven, but you guys won. But you guys need to get Ibaka involved. What was like, the difference between uh, for the Raptors between Game yeah. 5 and Game 6? And what was the difference between the Sixers and Game 5 and Game 6 that you guys uh, have noticed? For me, yeah. um, in Game 6, I already saw it because the coaching is not really... Like, it's not... Uh, Brent Brown, I hate him for yeah. some reason <laughs> with the passion. Because... <laughs> We almost lost today because yeah. he put Boban in. Yeah. Boban played four minutes and he's yeah. negative thir 13. Yeah. Four minutes, that's how bad it was. His defense is, I mean, his offense is okay, but his defense is yeah. questionable. Yeah. So, like, if we're going to lose game seven, I think it's going to be, go, we're going to go down to Brett Brown because yeah. our team is really good. I mean, I feel on my end, uh, definitely the bench play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? During the regular season, I've Van Vliet's crossing guys yeah. and Tomorrow. hitting threes, and we got guys off the bench scoring, putting double digits up. Norm Powell getting some like nice dunks on the fast breaks. Where are they? That's a real question. Where are they? Why aren't they producing in this setting? You know what I mean? Because this is a time where you really got to produce. Yeah. And for a lot of those guys, uh, like it's yeah. it's it's nothing. It's Nothing, like nothing. Yeah. Baca was the best off the bench today, I think. Yeah. Um, other than that, like nothing, right? So True. that's what it does it for me. I think yeah. the most impact we've had from Van Fleet and Norman Powell was only in Game Five, but that was just yeah. very minimal. Yeah. Like what we said before, we need to we need to bring them back up because I thought, like what I said from before, from the jump, mm -hmm. that we could be able to rely on them, but yeah. clearly we can't be able to get that right now. I'm just hoping that we can be able to in Game Seven, mm -hmm. but it's just been quite. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been disappointing to see yeah. because we thought we had one of the deepest bench in the league when mm -hmm. during the regular season mm -hmm. because we had, I mean, when we had DeLon Wright and Van Fleet, that they worked really well together back yeah. then. And JV coming off the bench, that was kind of, that's why we were getting a lot of our points. But when we lost DeLon and JV, we thought we can kind of somehow make up for that by having Ibaka off the yeah. bench and have Van Fleet off the bench and have Mark Gasol. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the key for Game 7 for you guys, for, for each team? What's... What do we need to see for each team? You know, if they, if you want to win the Sixers to win, if you want the Raptors to win, just don't get Ben Simmons involved. <laughs> like he's, having, he had a good game today. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that was the biggest difference yeah. between Game Five and Game Six. Even was Tobias that, Harris had a good game yeah. too. Tobias Mike and Scott, Ben Simmons. Mike Scott, Mike Scott, Scott, really yeah. good game, yeah. I mean, he outplayed the whole bench of the Raptors. <laughs> right? The guy yeah. that was traded from the Clippers. Yeah. Like, yeah. you guys just need to get everyone involved because um, yeah. if your bench start playing good, you guys are unstoppable. It's like hard. Game Five, you guys were unstoppable because everyone got involved. Everyone had. Full yeah. usage, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of times it's just Kawhi sometimes, right? Yeah. So I feel like we need to get that kind of mix, get everyone's full usage, but then also have the team on Kawhi's back kind mm -hmm. of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, Kawhi did the same thing in game four, 39 points, right? 70%. Everything was self created, right? But we really need to get more of our team involved, okay. especially for game seven. I mean, what is it? Like, what else is there? Um, you know, finish our shots. Mm -hmm. We haven't. Oh, been, we didn't even do that mm -hmm. this past game. We didn't, we didn't even, Danny, so many, so many open shots. Man. So many opportunities. Shots was, so many yeah. things went wrong today. It's it like did. We go down the whole list. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's not even about this game anymore. It's one game away from uh, making a decision who goes to the Eastern Conference Finals, right? So. Yeah. I just feel like we need to, like what we said, finish the open shots, take the opportunity, and everything, catch the rebounds, oh, and that. don't get, like don't like not with the turnovers, right? Mm -hmm. So. That's, the, that's those are the three like basic things that we need to do so that we can be able to finish off and win the series. Mm -hmm. I have this kind of with game seven. I think there's also a question here that we can kind of maybe determine to see what could happen with this game seven. Could this game seven determine what Kawhi would do in the off season? 
because with this game set, they could be in the conference, Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. Or this could, you know, go home. Yeah, 100%. Well, this, like, yeah. 100%, it's, it's definitely like a, a defining point um, in Kawhi's decision, mm -hmm. how far we go into the playoffs. Because, like, if we don't even make it to Eastern Conference, like, that's what's expected. We're expecting to go to finals in some people's eyes, right? Mm -hmm. So if we don't even reach that mark, how does it reflect on re-signing a guy who's put his heart and soul into this city, well, mm -hmm. into this team, yeah. right? Uh, we'll see this summer, you know what I mean? Yeah. If, if, he, if he's really involved um, in, in that angle, but I think it always relies on like how far we go, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that. from the jump, Kawhi's always won. All in, yeah. He was always all in, always won every championship, won MVP and yeah. everything yeah. as well. So if we were not, we aren't able to finish that. So I just want to mm -hmm. kind of leave it unsaid from there like, yeah you know i mean so. there's some rumors that danny green loves it here and you know he yeah. doesn't want to he doesn't want to leave if Kawhi leaves he's leaving mm -hmm. yeah. um but i mean if if he has a great playoff run and if he like fully enjoys the summer out here yeah. i think is also a deciding factor um i'd love to see him come back everybody would love to see him come back it's right? a lot of teams are wearing the um, Kawhi right now so oh yeah you know, well, we yeah. have this max or oh, the city new yeah. york or clippers or, yeah i don't well i mean i didn't know he has options right so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so it's yeah. what works for his family what works mm -hmm. for his situation mm -hmm. but everybody wants to see him back right how yeah. can we how can we not i'm just yeah. hoping he can pull like a like a pg Going back yeah. to OKC, believing in the team, yeah. but obviously with better results than what you know OKC has <laughs> delivered right now. Right? But like, yeah. I just hope he ha kind of has that mentality and like the belief of like our city and our team. So, yeah. can you guys sometimes tell when he has like that body image or like the way he just carry himself by the? Because in Game Five, he's like, I mean Game Game Four or s Game Four, he feels like, oh my gosh, I'm carrying this team again. Like he, he looks tired. Like you know, you guys think like. There's a sign that maybe he's leaving or he's staying. I could never read. Yeah, babies. you can't read. Can't read why? Why? <laughs> why is a poker right? poker body? Yeah. Yeah. Not even so a mean, poker yeah. face. Yeah, he doesn't have a poker, a poker body. Yeah. You can't read anything from his but, whole I mean, body. When you when you observe the things around it, like yeah. what's going on, and if you like these There's stories. There's the factors that are around. Yeah, it's for stories, sure. media, press and conferences. It's, it's like general things. Like yeah. okay, I have a family. What am I gonna do that works best for my family? Right. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna do best that works for my financial yeah. situation? Because with LeBron, when he left Cleveland, you can just tell he went straight to the locker room and took off his jersey. Yeah. So, well, like, you could just... <laughs> some players really, you know, are... are uh, LeBron's very expressive. Yeah. 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 So, sure. Kawhi, you can't yeah. really tell, like you yeah. guys said. He's, he's just been a, yeah. a good job of just, you know, staying true to himself and yeah. just being who he is, right? Yeah. So... It's amazing. Yeah. No, it's going to be an interesting game seven. Yeah. I'm definitely going to watch it. Oh, for <laughs> sure. It's a defining moment. Wait, is it Sunday? Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Sunday. Okay. Yes. Sunday afternoon. Oh, awesome. Mother's Day, too. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Yeah. Make sure you buy your good, mom some roses. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some my nana some. Buy my, <laughs> my, nan buy my mom a basketball. basketball. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have, guys, for Pinoy Crossover. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Any last one before we end the show, RJ? You have cameras right there. Anything you want to list? Any shout-outs? Uh, shout-outs to Mega City Basketball, all the staff, all the players, the whole community. Uh, shout out to the youth as well, mm -hmm. all the players getting involved with the youth program. Um, I mean, it's endless out here, ball is life, you know what it is. We out. Yeah, awesome. Any last words, Ingrid, before we end the show? Camera's right there for you. Be sure to check us out on Filipinos on Basketball on IG and check us out on YouTube every Sunday and Monday as well. Awesome. James, any last words? Uh, just check, check out the website, we like crossover.ca. Um, I wrote about Giannis last week and I'm probably going to write about this guy's Mega City Basketball. Awesome, and I hope you guys really enjoy this. And other than that, stay balling, everybody. Hey.